Hi guys, welcome to another video. It's round five against Q's reviews. So I send a, a match request here. Get this going. <clears throat> All right, accepted. I'm starting off as the black pieces. All right, uh, I'm gonna do my uh, Dutch defense, Stonewall. center pawn here. It's defended by my knight and queen. Okay, I'm just going to do this move to stop his knight from uh, jumping down on the side. I'm going to lock up the rest. This way you call it stonewall because your pawns are all chained up on the, the light squares and your dark square bishop is uh, watching the dark squares while well. Your light squares. Well, yeah, that's why the only weakness is your light squared bishop. But it could come into play uh, more in the middle game towards the end. Okay, so we castled here. Right, I'm going to line up my bishop just in case his knight moves. I can grab that pawn with a check. See what he does. <clears throat> Okay, so you saw that. So I'm just going to plop my knight here in the center. If he exchanges, I'm going to take with the pawn, kicking his knight away. And then um, we'll bring in the light square bishop. Okay, so we're going to exchange. So you're backed up. Okay, actually, I'm going to bring my knight into here. Still, my bishop and uh, rook are not in, in play at the moment, but we still have a good uh, control of the game. Okay, that's a good move. That's a passant right here if we uh, take like that, because he tried to run away from your pawn. He's probably going to recapture as the knight. Okay, I'm going to push the center pawn. It's defended by my knight, bishop, and queen. So if he takes, I'll take over the knight. Okay, he doesn't, so I'm gonna just um, attack the knight here. Okay, right on the wing. Okay, now I see how my late bishop is all of a sudden has a wide open lane. It was a weak point before, but Okay, so he blocked it, but okay. Well, at least we got our bishop out of the way, and now our rooks are connected, so we're fully developed. He's a bit um, pinned. His bishops are not doing too much, but we'll see. It's still a lot better uh, game there than most of our games, so I'm enjoying it. I could potentially um, sacrifice my dark square bishop for those two pawns in front of his king. I'm going to line up my rooks. Okay, I could take that pawn over there, but I feel like he's going to push, make the mistake and push the pawn and attack my knight, and then I could just grab his rook. Okay. I missed the opportunity of grabbing that pawn and checking him, but we still have a huge control. by our knight so we don't have to worry oh he didn't see this grab his rook now we're attacking his queen with the the two rooks we're up a lot of material here <clears throat> he has to move his queen he doesn't um okay i'm gonna give him a little chance here Grab that pawn, exchange the bishops. Okay, see, so he had to um, move his queen. He saw it there. But I'm pretty sure we can get a nice little checkmate going on here, regardless. 
gonna pin his uh, bishop to his queen. Now we could, uh, yeah, we're gonna get our queen involved. Okay, now I'm gonna take this pawn with my queen. And he didn't grab me, because if he grabbed it with his bishop, it would have been, uh, his queen would have been hanging, so I would have been up a pawn, but he didn't grab it, so he lost his bishop as well. Now we should get a nice little checkmate here in the corner with the two rooks. I'm gonna need some backup with the knight. So we'll line up the rooks here. This is deadly. So I'm gonna check him. Um, I could grab the pawn with the knight, but I'm gonna check him. So if he goes in the middle, I can grab the pawn with a check. If he goes in the corner, then I can't do it, but I'll still uh, grab the pawn. And now we can get a checkmate here soon. Check. And then checkmate because the knight is now blocking his uh, one and only escape square. But that was a really good game, man. Well played, Q, uh, Q there. I gave you one chance with your queen, but I mean, up until then, you played very solid, man. So, um, yeah, it was black that game. Um, sorry, my uh, girlfriend's um, calling me here. Just give me one second. Sorry, Q. I'm back. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, so let me get a rematch going here. I didn't push new game, and where's the rematch button? Come on. Uh, I'm still here, Q, don't worry. Um, oh, is that the rematch button there? Oh my god, the writing is so small here. Here we go. Okay, I can do my London. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I, I just got distracted for a couple of uh, seconds there. Uh, let's get this going, buddy. Okay, London uh, system here. Developing normal there. If you know the London system, these are normal moves, I guess. <clears throat> oh, I, I think you might get a little aggressive. Oh, he gets aggressive and he won't be pushed around. Huh? So I got his knight pinned there to the rook, so I'm just going to pre move this knight taking, retaking if he takes with his knight. Okay, yeah, he didn't see us, so I get the rook. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, this game is... The first game was really good. I enjoyed it there. This one fell apart quick here, but... Maybe it's because I took long for the rematch and you get all... You thought I was gone, I don't know. This, yeah. But this game is not going to last too long, I don't think. I mean, my bishop got the rook and the bishop, so I can just uh, take another whatever, take a pawn. And, uh, yeah, get rid of it. We're still up a bunch of material here early on. So let's just, uh, yeah, open up some lanes. He didn't grab that. Okay. So we're going to develop the bishop here. Attacking my bishop the knight. It's defended by my knight. So I'm gonna castle here. 
Just in case she takes my bishop, I pre-move my knight. that pawn. He has his uh, bishop uh, defending that pawn. Okay, now he has nothing defending that pawn, so we're going to grab that. So, we'll, we'll just exchange the knight for the bishop, or if he moves the knight, I'll just, I'll just grab his bishop. Okay, so just exchange one less piece off the board here. You're mine. No, no, okay, I'm gonna bring this knight in here because it's a fork. It's a forking. Op okay, he's attacking my queen. There's a forking option here, right on d6 for my knight. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna put this on the side here, and uh, yeah, be able to swoop in, but also protect my knight if he jumps into that d6 uh, square. Let's see if he sees it. Okay, he does. But I can still get a check and grab the other pawn over here. He's attacking my uh, knight here. I'm going to pop it back. But we're looking to bring in the other knight. See what he does here. I can't really get my queen involved at the moment. Okay, we'll grab this uh, other pawn with a check, but now my knights are defending one another. So. Okay. I can't get my queen involved at the moment. He's blocking all the squares with his knight and his queen. So I'm gonna get my rook involved. Okay, he took the queen off that pawn. It was protecting. So we get it with a check. We might be able to line up his uh, king with the queen and take his queen. <clears throat> okay, we get the check. Can block with the knight maybe, but still uh, it'll just be lost. Okay, he does. So we grab that with the check. So I'll grab his uh, queen. And now we can uh, get our queen involved with the check. My rook is protected by the knight. Okay, he resigned. That was a good two matches, though. But the first one was really good, though, bro. So uh, we'll take, uh, take this up again next week. Right your little message here, buddy. Same time next week, man. Keep it up, buddy. Thanks, everyone, for watching, eh? Have a great night. Take care, guys. Bye. I'm just a sitting here at midnight And I've been sitting here till noon You see my lady left me alone Funeral is about to begin, sir. Good day, Glenn.